Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I have something special. This is something that I wanted to make for so long and finally I make it. I have this idea. I love the color, but I love more how it's made. You won't believe how these pieces started and the technique that you will use. I think it's so different. We will use here from the bottom. Here is where we will start and from here we will start increasing and making more rows. I decided to make it a, a little bit short here in the back and with three uh, quarters uh, slips, right? Here during the video I will show you how you can make it for a larger or a smaller size, okay? It's very easy. Also, you can make it with longer sleeve and without the neck or you can make the sports neck like I made, okay? But well, now let's start and before that I give you the material list and the step by step, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Let's start. Well, for this cardigan in my size, in a large size, I will use 500 grams of this material. This is a light material, it's number three, and I will use the hook of three and a half millimeters. I will use this bright yellow, but you can choose the color that you want. But well, now let's start. Well, we will divide this project into videos. This will be the first part of this cardigan. Please stay tuned for the second part. Now let's start. Well, with one thread and with our hook, we are going to start making five chains. Remember that we will start from the bottom, from the armhole. Sorry, we are going to make six, let me see. Yes, six chains we are going to close in circle. Then we will go up with three chains. One, two and three chains. And now turn over and insert your hook inside the ring and right there we are going to make three double crochet. The first chains that we made we will count as one. So here two double crochet, then two chains, then again three double crochet, one, two, all of them inside the ring. So here we have two and three, then two chains one, two, and again, three double crochet. Well, like these segments, we are going to make six. At the end, we must have six segments, <laughs> sorry, segments like this one, okay? So let's continue like this the whole row. So far, we have one, two, and three. Like this, let's make three more to six at the end. Well, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We will finish with two chains and we are going to slip one to close. So this will be the beginning and from here we will make the whole first part of the cardigan. So from here we will slip one to here to the first space and from here we will go up with three chains and then here inside in this space we are going to make two segments together. This means that we are going to make three double crochet, then two chains, and again in the same space, we are going to make three double crochet. Like this is how we are going to make the corner. And we will have something like this, okay? So then we will make one, two, two chains, and then we will go to the next space, and right there we will repeat. We are going to make two segments together. So this means three double crochet, two chains, and again three double crochet, all of them in the same space. And like this, we are going to continue all around. In each space, we are going to make it double, okay? We are going to make a shell like this all around in this row. So well, at the end, we will have six segments double, okay? This means that we will have six six shells, okay, remember, with two chains between. Well, like this, we are going to continue the whole row and see you at the end. Well, now that we finish, we are going to slip one to close. We will go up 
with three chains and now we are going to crochet double crochet over double crochet so here we will have three and it is important that you always insert the hook the same okay if you are going to take these two threads we'll take them in all the stitches okay it will make the difference well after these three double crochet we are going to make one more to have four then two chains and again we are going to make here in this space one double crochet and then double crochet over double crochet so at the end we will have each side four double crochet and two chains between and well the way I'm taking this stitch I'm making here a little pleat in front I'm as you could see I'm taking all the stitches the same like this like cleaning the hook this is the technique that I will follow and the way that I will take all the stitches as you could see here we have a little pleat in front well like this we are going to continue the whole row making four double crochet each side and then two chains between okay so let's continue like this the whole row look here I have the six shells with four double crochet each side and do chains between here I will slip one to close and go up with three chains and then we are going to insert the hook exactly the same and let me remember yes we will take one take two and leave the last looping hold again turn over insert your hook take one take two and the last looping hold then once you have three double crochet bring them through and make one chain like this we have one leap well then two chains and then here in the corner we are going to repeat this shell we are going to make three double crochet so here we have two and three then two chains let me take more yarn okay two chains and again inside the same space three double crochet then two chains and then we will count one two and three here in the third we are going to make the first double crochet leaving the last looping hold then next to it the second so right there again we are going to make a leaf so we are going to leave the last loops in hold so we will take one two and leave the last loop in hold okay once we have this three double crochet slip one and then one chain so in one two and in the third row is where we are going to make the leaves then two chains after the leaf and right here again we will repeat to make the leaf so remember to insert the hook and take the stitches always the same so the leaf will be with three double crochet leaving the last looping hold bring them through then two chains and again here in the corner we are going to make the shell so three double crochet two chains and three double crochet and like this we are going to continue the whole row making the shell then two leaves and the shell again in the corner well here I finished the row and it is okay if you have like this loosened effect okay don't worry it is okay so now we will finish with two chains and we are going to slip one here in the top of the petal okay so here we have the first slip and here we open in the second slip well now we will go up with three chains then two chains more between them and then here we are going to crochet double crochet over double crochet here we won't close it okay it's until the third row where we will close so here we will crochet double crochet over double crochet and here we are going to make two chains and then in the space double crochet and then two chains and a double crochet and two chains we kind of made a B then double crochet over double crochet and then um, here we have the second and the third double crochet then one two chains 
and here a double crochet over where we close the chain and then well I think that I'm going to start making three chains for now on and again here in the leaf in the petal a double crochet then three chains remember we are going to start making three chains and now double crochet over double crochet let me show you how this is series I mean well this row is going okay so here we finish the three double crochet so here we have three double crochet then the V three double crochet and then over the petals you see we have three mesh square and then then the three B's then the B so two chains then a double crochet two chains and again a double crochet to make the V and well like this we are going to continue the whole row well look here I finished the row and we are one two three four in the fifth row okay here we are well we will go up with three chains one two and three and then one two two chains between them and then here we are about to close the petal as you could see here we have two and in the third row is where we close the petal so we are going to make double crochet over double crochet and we will leave the last loops in hold okay so once we have all of them we are going to bring them through and make one chain then two chains and here in the V we are going to make the shell so three double crochet then two chains and again in the same space three double crochet now I will give you a tip so you can see how this here it goes okay then two chains and then we are going to close the petal again so three double crochet and we will leave the last looping hold more or less you see how it's going right and well only in the sides is where we are going to make three chains instead of two remember here where we have the mesh squares so here we will finish with three chains so look here in the corner where we have the V over the V we are going to make a shell then here the next one we are going to make a V and remember that until the third row is where we are going to close the petal so please be careful and follow the drawing so here where we have the shells we are going to make the first double crochet over the last double crochet then in the next space we are going to make one two three and then a double crochet over the last double crochet then three chains remember that here in this space is where we are going to made three instead of two and then here we will repeat what we made in the corner petal shell petal and this is how we are going to continue just following the drawing we have to uh, see that we painted <laughs> the leaves that we complete the leaves and the stitch by the owns will let you watch next so we'll, we will continue like this the whole row and here remember to respect the corners well, so here we finish. Remember the double crochet, then the three double crochet inside the shell, and the first double crochet that we made. So, right there, we are going to slip one to close the row. Well, so here we will start the row. We will go up with three chains, then two chains between, and then here in the uh, petal, we are going to make a double crochet right there, then two chains. And we are going to make double crochet over double crochet and this will be the second row of this series and in the next row in the third row is where we are going to close to make the lead then two chains and here like in the last row we made a shell well now we are going to make a V so a double crochet two chains and a double crochet then one two two chains and double crochet over double crochet and two and three then one two 
three chains, remember that in these sides is where we are going to make three chains instead of two, then a double crochet over the petal, three chains, and here double crochet over double crochet. And remember that all stake the stitch the same. This will make the difference and at the end you will love the result. As I was telling you, I'm taking this like this stitch, like leaning the hook a bit. I'm here I'm making a little pleat, you see, here in front. Well, here as you could see, I made the same five double crochet in the next row, I repeat. Well, like this, we are going to continue the whole row. And here we are in the row number seven. So here a V, then three double crochet, the mesh stitch, five double crochet, and a double crochet over the petal. Well, look, here I will finish slipping one, and with this double crochet that I made at the beginning, I will close the row. So, well, um, we are going to continue, and I want you to tell you something. Here, between these two shells, every two rows, we are going to increase one double crochet. So here we have, let me take the stitch, one, two, three chains, and inside the mesh, I will make one, two, three double crochet, and we will close making a double crochet over the last double crochet. Then, three chains, and now we have to close the, the petals. You could see here, after two rows, now here, because of the drawing, in this row we have to close the leaf. So leaving the last loops in hold, we are going to make three double crochet, then bring them through three chains, and here we have a V. So this means that we have to make a shell. So, one, two, three double crochet, then two chains, and again in the same space, three double crochet. Well, so here we are, we are making one, two, and three, then one, two, two chains, and then again here, we have to close the, the leaf, you see, because according to the drawing, we have to close it. So we are going to bring them through and like this. As you could see, we have two options like this, like having a pleat in front or taking all the stitches and the way you choose, we are going to respect it and take all the stitches the same. Well, here, as you could see, we have one, two, three leaves. We have completed three leaves. And once we are going to make a V, once a shell and like this, Every three rows we have to complete the leaf. Here the section that we have in the middle, it's the segment that, that will increase, okay? So here we are going to make a double crochet over double crochet and here after these two rows, remember, we are going to increase, remember what I told you, that each two rows we are going to increase one double crochet. So here we are going to make Inside the mesh square, we are going to make three double crochet and the um, double crochet of the edge. Then here, we are going to make double crochet over double crochet. I hope that everything is clear. Uh, this will be the first part. In the coming video, I will show you the second part. Well, again, here inside the mesh, we are going to make three double crochet. Then the double crochet over double crochet here then three chains and we go to close the leaf so three double crochet and leaving the last loops in hold and then we will bring them through continue following the drawing at the end we will have a figure with six sides okay it will be very easy to follow the stitch by the ones will lead you what's next okay so far look we are going to make two rows like this then we have five double crochet but well let me count first here in this long segment how many double crochet do i have well i have 13 double crochet 
So two rows with 13 double crochet, then again you increase and like this you will continue. Remember each two rows you are going to increase, okay? Please check because I was doing this too quickly that I lost the counting. Pay attention to close the leaves and that you have to alternate one's B, one's shell. And each two rows we are going to increase one double crochet each side in this segment. Following these instructions we are going to continue making more rows until we get the shape and the size that we want. It will be like this if we fold it, okay? This is the front, back and the sleeves, okay? So we will continue. We will have two pieces like this one. We are going to make the same number of rows, the same number of stitches and everything. Once we have these two pieces ready and once we get the size and once we try on and we like the uh, wide of the sleeve and the two fronts are correct, well, see you there because I will teach you what's next. This is the end of the first part, okay? Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Please take care and stay tuned for the second part. So far, I gave you homework. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.